Hey guys, welcome to another episode of iOS with Dario. So let me ask you this question: Have you ever been in a situation where um, some friends of yours, like friends or acquaintances, who you have not been in touch for a long while, like um, I'm saying months or even years, all right? And one day they just showed up, and you know they started asking you for a favor. You know, oh, can you help me do this and that, and can you help me? Um, buy this, or they even some people are even so thick-skinned they ask you to buy stuff from them because they're they're sales people now, and I'm like, what the fuck? You disappear for so long, and now you reemerge, and you expect me to to do you a favor? That's not gonna happen. Or if you're someone that I deem you know authentic and genuine. I probably would would just uh, help you out. I mean, if if I think that you're actually in need of help, but if I can sense that you are actually taking advantage of me, then no way it's gonna happen. So let me tell you a little story about that kind of people who just have no shame and they have the guts to to, to you know reappear and ask you for favor, even though you're there, they haven't been in your life for so long. Um, so, the one example that that really sticks out for me is that. So it was a few years ago when I was still a, um, I'm not sure, uh, maybe a junior in college or something in Singapore, and maybe once or twice a year I would come back home and visit my family, and you know, one fine day when I was surfing Facebook, this one friend, this one long lost friend who just. Reappeared out of nowhere on Facebook Messenger, and she messaged me, "Oh, can you help me get uh, baby diapers from Singapore and bring it back home for me?" And I'm like, "What? Do you have any idea?" I was thinking to myself, "Do you have any idea how big and bulky diapers are?" And I'm talking about this big, right? And you expect me to like put them in my suitcase? Where the hell do I get the space for other stuff? Do I look that stupid to be taken advantage of so easily, girl? You know, for people who are actually aware that they're imposing, the most they would do is probably just ask you to get stuff for them that are really like tiny and small and like really compact and portable. But this girl, she just had no shame. Sorry, I may sound a bit mean here. But I really think that I need to get this message out there, so that you know, nice people like yourselves wouldn't get uh, taken advantage of anymore. So what I did was I politely declined, and I just came up with some excuse, saying that oh I don't have enough space in my suitcase, and I, I needed to like uh, buy other stuff for my family members, and uh, basically my suitcase is packed. So. I mean, I could have helped you, but for I don't know. I just feel like you're asking for too much, and we're not that close yet for you to to ask me for such a big favor. So, um, of course, I kind of felt bad afterwards. Um, but now that I think about it, I I think that I did the right thing, so that people cannot just take you for granted, and um, you show people that you have a standard and. In order to ask for a favor, you need to have a certain level of connection first. You know, gradually, as I grow up, I've grown more comfortable with saying no um, to people that don't really matter in my life. I mean, you don't need a ton of friends; you just need a few who who really add values to your life. And for those people, I would go out of my way to help them if I can. But for people that you can sense that they can, they are taking advantage of you, then no, just be frank and politely decline without hurting their feelings. But you know, basically you're protecting yourself and you show people that you have standards. And in this day and age where people lead such a hectic life, I feel that we don't have all the time in the world to like 
just agree to help anyone because we just have a finite amount of time on this earth. I believe that as we grow up, we need to be more selective as to how we're going to spend time with people and um, also with regard to like um, who deserve our time because we're busy people, man. Yeah. So I guess that's pretty much what I want to say in this video. So the key takeaway here is um, to learn to say no and to learn to get comfortable with saying no and don't really feel bad about doing that because, um, you know, if you're a yes man and you say yes to every single request, then you're not going to have any time left for, for your personal life or for your hobbies, stuff like that. So guys, if you have encountered a similar situation before, please um, share with me by writing in the comment section below. I'm really excited to know what kind of similar encounters that you guys have had before uh, with, with regard to this topic. Um, so yeah, write for me, okay? I'm going to read all of them. And if you guys like this video, please give it a big like, big thumbs up, and uh, hit the subscribe button here. Oh. And there's a little bell icon next to the subscribe button so please remember to uh, press that bell also so you'll get notified of every single new video that that's released um okay so i hope you guys are having a great week and i'll see you guys in my next video all right take care